Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Just last year, there were marriage rumors between the popular senator, Dino Melai, and the popular Yuba actress, Yabo Uju. And of course, it hit the internet when Yabo Uju got engaged. And rumors had it that there were preparation towards Yabo Uju and Dino Melai's wedding ceremony, which they tagged Yabo and Dino. 2020. However, the senator Dino Milaye came out to debunk that he was secretly married to the popular actress Yabo Ujo. And as regards the planning of the star studded wedding, the duo refuted the reports. However, now amidst the messy fight between Yabo Ujo and her former best friend, a voice note has been shared by the Instagram blog which revealed that a Kayamata seller and the actress Omoboti caused the relationship between the former senator Dino Melaye and the Yabo Ojo to crash. That voice note released by Just Lover's blog, Yabo Ojo was heard warning Dino Melaye to stop speaking negatively about her to be other on Kewo and following the relationship between Omoboti and Dino Melaye, Yabo Ojo who could not afford to share the politician with her colleague vowed to stop seeing him. And the blogger said, I keep educating people on here, calm down, you're doing well. Don't let anybody tension you on Instagram. One thing I like about Dino is that he shares the house around. The whole landladies. The voice note shared above. You can hear you about warning Dino to stop denying her and stop saying negative things about her to Miwa and Omo Boti's girlfriends. And in the voice notes that was shared to our source by Yabo's supposed bestie, you can hear her laughing out loud at the background. I'm mocking her friend. Well enough said, over the years, young entrepreneurs who are legit and striving, Keep up the work. Don't be tensioned by anyone, even business owners are not pure nowadays. Just keep working. Someday, fortune will smile on you. I call me peace. So according to the sources, it was Biodon Kewo and the popular Kayamata seller, Miwa Signatures, who caused the split of Dino Melayi and Iyapo Ujo. Amidst this fight between Iyapo Ujo and her former best friend, her former best friend, who is also a Yuba actress, Biola, who is popularly known as Omo Bridge, has been leaking secrets. She started by sharing a lengthy shade on her official social media platform. And this was what she shared. The narcissist. Manipulators will steal your joy as though you made it especially for them. They will tell half truth to straight out lies. And when you have enough people squabbling, they will be the savior. Don't worry, I'm here for you. They will listen, they will comfort, they will tell you what you want to hear. And then they will ruin you. They will change the facts of your situation. Take things out of context and use your words against you. They will calmly poke you until you crack and then they will poke you for cracking. They will accidentally spill secrets or they will hint that their secrets to be there to be spilled. Whether they are high or not, there is just no reason with a manipulator. So forget trying to explain yourself. The arguments will run in circles and there will be no resolution. It's a black hole. Don't get sucked in. Toxic behavior is a habitual way of responding to the world and the people in it. Toxic people are smart but they have the emotional intelligence of a pen lead. It is no accident that they choose those who are open-hearted, generous, and willing to work hard for a relationship. With two non-toxic people, this is the foundation for something wonderful. But when toxic behavior is involved, it's only a matter of time before that open heart becomes a broken one. If you're in any sort of relationship with someone who is toxic, chances are you've been bending and flexing for a while to try to make it work. Stop. Just stop. You can only change the things that are open to your influence and toxic people will never be one of them. Be discerning. Everyone can't be bad. Another victim picked. And of course, Yabo just so responded and said she does away with anything and anyone who causes her pain. And in her words, my happiness is key. I got my happiness and peace of mind jealously. Never manage what causes you pain. It leaves you traumatized and you'll be stuck in a state of stress and persistent arousal. No, I don't want that. She also went out to call out her best friend who was using her late mom to mock her, according to her. In a lengthy post, her late mom had schizophrenia before her death and she ensured that her mother was well taken care of, something her bestie was aware of. She continued by disclosing that for years, Omar Bridge constantly and stylishly called her all manners of names that implied a deranged personality, which he about constantly brought to her attention. I wonder against. The mother also noted that her friend had been shading her for weeks because he did not approve of the friendship between her former personal assistant and Omar Bridge. Yabo attached receipts to her post and said that she took her former assistant like a daughter, but then the girl almost ruined her business. And she went further by noting that friendship is not by force. And she said that the manipulative tactics by her friend, and she said that the manipulative tactics by her friend on social media will not work for her. And then she also said that if Omar Bridge decides to continue, it will not end well, and she will go all out against her without caring 
about whose ox is God in the process. And this was part of what she shared. Some people come into your life using you as the steps to, to achieve their selfish interest. They jump on your bad wagon, study you, and then capitalize on your weakness to eventually destroy you. Unfortunately, I need to want to be destroyed and I don't believe victim. Yes, my mom had schizophrenia and I took damn good care of her and I love her to pieces. But to say for years, just because you know about her condition, you've constantly and stylishly called me all manner of names, implying a deranged personality, which I have constantly brought your attention and warned you against. Because I genuinely believe it is you trying to mock my mom. Now that you have decided to finally bring this to the open and play victim, don't say Abiola be warned. As you have said that you respect your two kids, I will beg you to hold on to that. As for me, I don't throw shit. If you come for me, I will come for you. For weeks now, you have been throwing all kind of shit just because I disagree with your closeness to my former PA manager, Demi. If you call yourself my so-called best friend, you will not be communicating with the staff I took like a daughter who almost ruined my business. I still have all the evidence. Friendship no be by force. So. Yes, I don't make broken fences because I'm not too faced. It's either you are for me or against me. All these your manipulative tactics you are bringing to social media won't work with me. Trying to use your Google study to buy sympathy. Tosin, you know we know each other very well. Well enough. It sure won't end well. I will come for you straight up. I don't care whose ox is gold. I come in peace. And I can be very petty. You drop noise, man. We do name. If you know find my trouble, I judge you more. Call me low. For those who may be asking, who is Yabo Ojo? Yabo Ojo is a star you by actress. Tosin is also an actress. Yabo Ojo is a Nigerian actress, producer, and an entrepreneur. She's the CEO of First Place Limited, a collection of enterprises. She joined this movie industry in the year 1998 and began film production in the year 2004. It was through the renowned actress Bimba Kintola that she joined the Actors Guild of Nigeria in 1998. And that same year, she made her debut in English language film Satanic. And then in 2002, she debuted in Yoruba language film Babada Ritual. Subsequently, she began to produce movies. And she made her debut in movie production with Wolu Tife in the year 2004 before she produced other movies like Bufe Boko, Lulufe Esson. Beyond Disability and Silence, just to mention a few of them. Some of the other movies she has featured in include Satanic, Agogo, Idi, Babadari, John 36, Kino, Inu, Obiri, Orola, Nipi, Sijep, Amiko, Odumbaku, Ulubari, Egun, Tawu, Tawu, Penye, Okonla, Beyond Disability, Awusa, Trust, Ore, Badabo, Twisted, Twin, Cost, Trouble, Gone to America, Divorce, Not Allowed, just to mention a few of them. We have come to the end of this episode where the actress, Ben Okowu, allegedly snatched her colleague's man, Dino Melai. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.